quick video real quick. I want to make a quick video real quick. No. Fuck that. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just fucking goofy right now. Um, I'm sorry that I fucking disappear all the time, man. Like, I want to know. Life lately, I'd say within the last fucking year, especially these last couple of weeks with all this fucking shit going on, it's been me realizing that life's just a fucking series of experiences, man. You know, and it's like, I don't know, it's like situations, whether they're good or bad, you know, they come and go. And sometimes moments can feel like a lifetime. But it's when it's it's after those moments pass that we're able to reflect. And over time we have different perspectives of those moments, man. You know, it's like it's like watching a film that maybe you initially don't like and then fucking a year five, ten years go by, and you rewatch it with a different perspective, you know what I mean, because you've lived life, and maybe you just see something differently in that film that you didn't see initially, you know, and it just smacks you differently, you take something away from that, and it just, I don't know, man, it's like, that's an example of, like, what life has been like for me lately, I've just been reflecting on fucking all these fucking moments that I've been through, man. Everything. Moments that I've spent with people. Interacting with people. Having situations happen. Good and bad. You know what I mean? Every fucking thing. And it's just like you fucking see something that you just didn't initially see before. You know? It's fucking... It's crazy. But, I don't know. I just wanted to say that I've been, I don't know, on this fucking crazy-ass spiritual journey, man. <laughs> I fucking hate saying that shit because, you know, just fucking, I don't know, people, you know, it's people, you know? People fucking, <sighs> fuck. It's like, we fucking play ourselves into thinking that we're supposed to be a certain type of way, regardless of fucking race or color or fucking culture, whatever the fuck, you know what I mean, regardless of any of that shit, we play ourselves into thinking that we're supposed to be a certain type of way because of fucking society, and, you know, people are terrifying, but a person is something that's able to see the entire fucking picture as a whole, and it takes one person to be able to spread that awareness to everyone within and then once they do that everyone becomes aware and once you become aware it's impossible to fucking ignore of what life is which is just experiences and I I don't know man I've just been having this fucking it's like everything every fucking thing that I've been going through just every fucking thing, whether it's big or small, just even if I'm just sitting down, man, there's just something to take away from it, you know, you just, you just either reflect or you experience or you do both, you know, and it just gives you this clarity that you can then use to channel and focus onto what you need to fix, and it's like, it's weird, man, it's like, there's almost, like, no words necessary for the process at all, it's like, fuck, man, it's like your, it's like your brain is self-medicating and repairing itself by reflecting on experiences that you've gone through, maybe it's not even your brain doing that, maybe it's you doing that for your brain, it's yourself being able to fix your physical existence, because you yourself are this 
energy fucking well, man. I can't even, I don't even want to go into that. But we're fucking way more than we think we are, man. And we keep playing ourselves into thinking that we're not, you know. And it's like every fucking thing that we go through is an experience that has a message and a metaphor and a sense of love and darkness, you know? And we think that, I don't know, we think that light and dark are two different things. We think that, you know, something that's two-faced is two different entities or something like that, man. And it's not. It's two things making a whole, you know? Yin and yang. It's one. It's not two, you know? Because within the dark, there's light. Within the light, there's dark. There's fucking just so much love and understanding and connectedness that you can experience once you understand that. Once you get that. Once you truly grasp that. And it is a very difficult thing to do because a lot of it involves forgiveness not only for yourself but for others that on the surface you may not initially want to forgive but in order for you to be able to let go and move on from painful experiences things that exist within the dark you have to be able to forgive so that that darkness can reach the light and it's fucking just very fucking hard to do because I'm still going through it myself, man. I think every fucking person on this goddamn planet is going through that right now. But we have to be able to do that to move on, man. We have to fucking move on. We have to move on because if we don't, we are just going to be caught in this cycle. Not only just for society, but for humanity as a whole, man. We're going to be fucking time machine where everything just keeps looping over and starting over. Life just keeps playing out exactly the same. Fucking man. Fucking having a conquest of land. Creating technology. Technology becomes more superior than them. We fear it. And that's the problem with it, man. That's the problem with, with technology. Not in a sense of what technology is, but what we are, and what we, we fucking, we project ourselves onto technology, we think that technology will become us, you know, but if something is truly higher than ourselves, then as much as that is a possibility, that is ourselves putting ourselves into that experience, and that is a, an experience that is separate from ourselves, yet it's also a part of us. And if we are in a situation of us projecting ourselves into technology, then why would you project hatred and evil? You know, why wouldn't you just project love and connectedness? Because in a way, that's what technology gives us. That's what the internet is. You know what I mean? The internet is a perfect fucking example of what life is. There's fucking great things and there's fucking terrible things on the internet, just like with life. There's fucking great things and there's terrible things, you know? It's fucking crazy, man. There's so much fucking potential for just so much goddamn positive energy that can just circulate through not only through fucking us, through this planet, but through the whole fucking cosmic existence itself, man. And it's crazy because that energy is there and it is circulating. But we are just, we don't want to fucking, I don't know, we don't want to tap into it because we're afraid of it, man. It's just like death, you know, we're afraid of death because we don't want the end to come. But if you think about it, the end has to come because you're able to live, you know, you can't have death without life and you can't have life without death. Death has to come. Because death is a part of life. We see it as two separate things, but they are one. You are always dead, just as you are always alive. You are just reaching the moment of which you have died. Fuck me, man. That's a goddamn fucking balance, man. And that's what everything is. You know? 
and it's up to us to establish where those that balance exists within the balance as a whole. You know? <laughs> it's like a bunch of small fucking balances and you zoom out and it's one fucking balance. And you zoom out of that and it's another balance. Because it's infinite. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. I'm not even like fucking on anything, man. I'm just, I don't know. I have so much fucking clarity right now. And this is like, this is what I'm talking about. This is what life has been for me here lately, man, where it's like I've just been fucking having so much profound fucking just revelations just fucking flow through me, man, you know, and I've been, I've been sharing those revelations with others, and they've been taking things from it, and then they'll say something that, like, you know, they have a completely different perspective on what life is for them that you don't have, so they give you something that you just don't see yourself until they say it, and then it's just like, holy fuck, and it elevates you, but then you elevate them as well, you know, and it's a system of sharing elevation, man, that's like what you experience between, it's like what one person can experience with someone else is what Everyone needs to experience as a whole together. Everyone just elevating one another. That's how we will rise. And we will become something that we can't even predict what it is. Because we're not there yet. And it takes everyone to be able to reach it. And to understand it. And I think we're having glimpses of, you know that potential is but it's just that potential right now and it's taken us so long for us to get that message man we keep rejecting it every time we get so close to it but there has to come a time when we embrace it man we have to embrace the love that the universe is giving it to us because universe is ourselves we're giving ourselves this love but we trick ourselves into thinking that it's a separate experience than ourselves so we reject and stand off from it and us doing that just by us doing that is keeping us from being able to rise into what we can become as a whole that is going to be the next evolutionary jump man it's just like with what technology is right now with like how you know the, the leap from playstation 4 to playstation 5 fucking xbox one s or whatever the fuck it is to the next xbox i don't fucking know man but like we're in a situation right now where you know the graphical i guess advancement from like it's not the same graphical advancement from you know something like playstation 2 to playstation 3 playstation 3 to playstation 4 you know it's more of in additional elevation but over time that elevation becomes more and more tweaked to the point to where three four five years after the fucking initial I guess existence of that new elevation PlayStation 5 or whatever the tweakings and you know upgrades that come with technology as a whole televisions, everything that, you know, just technology slowly encompasses everything that surrounds this next generational leap that you stop and you look back and you go, holy fucking shit, just five years ago we were just fucking getting the PlayStation 5 where we were playing in fucking 1080p and 4K HD, five years and now we're fucking like playing in goddamn fucking who knows what you know what I mean because god you can't even fathom what that's gonna be like you kinda have an idea man but like in reality here now with like how fucking crisp and clear things are to say that things can become even more fucking immersive it's gonna be amazing but that's also what Black Mirror shows us Black Mirror is like a fucking it's like a fucking like warning telling us, hey, you know, fucking, if, 
if you project yourselves onto technology, it can turn on you. So project love, because love comes naturally, man. Project love. And in order for you to even project love onto technology, for it to project love back in a more naturalistic, loving way, you have to find that love within yourself first. You can't fix someone else until you fix yourself. So that way, you can have the ability to reach your hand out so that they can grab it and you can truly pull them in and embrace them like a new breath of fucking fresh air, man. Fuck, man. This is what I'm talking about, man. It's just a constant streamlined fucking revelations of life, man. Fuck. This is what life is about, man. Life's just about experiencing and reflecting and being there with those that you care about. But it takes the time to be able to even come to that realization and awareness. And once you do, that is when you know what your purpose is because you've been living it the entire fucking time. <laughs> purpose is just to fucking exist. Stop comparing yourself to fucking everything there is out here, man. And just live. Just live the fucking experience right here, right now, and do the best you can for the time that you got. Whew, fuck. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm fucking... Man. Everything that you experience in life is something for you to reflect on later and gain even more knowledge so that you can apply that knowledge to what's happening to you then in the moment you take that knowledge. That knowledge is there for when you need it in a different time. Fuck. Damn, man. God fucking damn. There's like so much curvature in fucking life. Oh. This is fucking... This is amazing. Like, this is... This is my true fucking, like... I don't know, man. This is what true peace is, man. This is clarity. This is just true fucking happiness. <laughs> it's fucking, it's fucking beautiful, man. I love it. I'm just so fucking grateful, man. I'm fucking grateful. Fuck. God, I'm just grateful to have this experience. I'm just be able to have this fucking mindset, man. It's so goddamn fucking beautiful. <laughs> love, just love, just love life, I love everything that exists in it, I love you man, if you fucking have taken the time to fucking watch this shit man, you're just so fucking amazing, just fucking love you man, fucking love you bro, fucking love you man, think about how powerful that is, someone saying that they love you, that they care about you, they care for you man, it's fucking love, man. Like, it's around us every fucking second that we're alive. And we're so oblivious to it. We just don't even see it. But it's here. It's here, man. It's around us. We don't even fucking... That's what this is. That's what this fucking knowledge is. It's just love. And once you learn to be able to tap into it, there's just so much fucking clarity that you gain. You just... It's like a non-stop elevation into what you want because what you want is connected this <laughs> connected this I'm sorry what you want is connectedness with everyone and if it can encapsulate everyone then that connectedness returns back to you it's just ungodly amounts of fucking energy and love and euphoria. It's everything that's ever been before you and everything that can potentially be in front of you. With you in the middle, man, it's the fucking chicken and the egg and you're the fucking experience so that you can become the chicken or the egg to give an experience to someone else. It's all an experience at the same time. And it's fucking just beautiful. 
Like I said, I am not on anything right now, I swear. I just have so much fucking clarity. And I'm just so fucking grateful to be alive. And to fucking even be able to have these fucking thoughts and think this. Fucking 25, man. Fucking 25 years old. I'm just fucking tapping into goddamn infinite fucking love. It's fucking crazy. I'm 25 fucking years old. Quarter of a fucking quarter of a fucking century. Whew. Fuck. I don't know. <laughs> love, man. Just fucking love. Just love. That's all I gotta say. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this shit. This is a 20 minute video, man, of me just fucking talking about love. I don't know. I just feel like I need to get this off my mind because it's meant, this knowledge that I have is meant to be shared. It's not mine's, it's everyone's. You know? It's fucking everyone's, man. Fuck, fuck a monetary gain on that. You know what I mean? Fuck that shit. Fuck money. I'm trying to make money off of love. Fuck, man. That's fucking greed. That's fucking, ugh. That's evil. <laughs> I don't want to do that, man. I don't want to fucking make money off of fucking love. Just fucking take that and do what you can with it, man. Do what you can for the time that you have, man. Just fucking love, man. Apply it towards anything that you want to that can bring you connectedness with everyone in a truly just fucking lovely manner <laughs> so I, with that said I'm gonna end this because I'm pretty sure that's as much curvature as you can get from everything that I've been saying it's not because I'm sure that I can just keep going and just fucking just find even more fucking infinite amounts of fucking data and energy but the beauty of this is that just as you can slip in to this mindset and just have this fucking beautiful, ungodly, infinite amount of love and energy just fucking channeled through your goddamn existence, you have to have the ability to slip out of it. So that way you can approach it at a different time. And when you slip out of it, you can leave the moment so that you can reflect on it with a different fucking perspective. Think about that, man. You can have a fucking even higher perspective than you have right fucking now. Whew. It's fucking insane, and that's happening constantly, man. Because time is flowing. You know what I mean? Time's just this big ass fucking just this fucking will of existence. It's just constantly, kind of constantly fucking spinning. It's just here, man. We're here, and it's here. Gravity's here, and light's here. And we're just fucking... We're all just here. So just be here right fucking now. Wherever you are in time, just be here. Be light. Be energy. Be yourself. And know what you fucking are. Know your fucking worth, man. Know your fucking worth. Because you're fucking beautiful. You're fucking beautiful, man. You are fucking love you, man. Thank you. Fucking thank you for being here. So, yeah. Love you. <laughs> Peace.